this is the crank and counterweight as well as the connecting rod that we just cast and I think they turned out really great for the first attempt however I will be casting at least these two parts one more time. Uh, the connecting rod I think will be usable for the first test so I don't think I'm gonna have to make that again but there are a few issues that I'll talk about with these two parts here. Uh, but in general the connecting rod turned out really great. It's definitely a pretty tight fit and I think that if I oil it and just wear it in a bit it will uh, it will smooth out over time. Uh, and this is the, the, the most recent piston we cast which is also probably going to be the piston used in the first test so this is kind of like the final piston connecting rod assembly at least as of now. Uh, there's not much to talk about about this really the the oil filled bearings press fit all right i did have to do some filing which was not ideal uh, but at the end of the day it's it is what it is and it fits now and it looks good so that's that these parts are where we have most of the issues there was supposed to be a hole cast through this shaft all the way through and on this model you can actually see one end of the hole however the, the hole did not cast properly. So I think I'm gonna go back and use the same technique I used for the cylinder as well as the crank case uh, with the steel pins to reinforce those holes so that they cast properly and I'm able to tap them because this is what the flywheel and output shaft connect to, these two shafts here. Additionally, these shafts which fit through these bearings here, uh, they were also very tight. So I had to do a tremendous amount of filing to get those down to the correct diameter so that they would fit nicely. and. I would like to go back and make tolerance changes so that they just cast, come out of the mold, I clean them up, and they fit without having to do any kind of post-processing. So that's another area of improvement. Finally, we have this, which is where the bearing journal, I believe it's called, sits. It is the, the shaft that goes through the big end of the connecting rod. And unfortunately, they both cracked open in the post-processing process. Ideally, similarly to these shafts, I wouldn't have to do any post-processing, but I didn't include tolerances. So the diameter on this hole was too tight uh, for the shaft. So I ended up trying to take a drill to it, which ended up just ripping uh, the rings apart on both of them actually. So I'm going to go back and add tolerance fits to uh, these parts so that they have a better fit straight out of the mold and minimizes the amount of post-processing I have to do. Regardless of those issues, the general dimensions of the part, they fit well into the crankcase, and I'll show you that in a second, uh, but it doesn't hold together too well just because of the split ring issue here, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and put it together nonetheless. The shafts do fit nicely after finishing. I'll take that out for a second. As you can see, they spin freely. I'll put the other one in as well. I'm actually not sure if the, if these are on the right side because they are not symmetrical, um, but it doesn't really matter for now. Uh, so they both fit nicely, and then I can go ahead and put the bearing journal in and put this other half on. It's a bit tricky, like I said, but I think that's good. That looks good. And we can see that the two halves do mate nicely, so there isn't a... Um, a, a distance issue between the two bearing faces. That's something I actually fixed in the original plastic prototype, but I'm gonna do my best to uh, try to screw together the crank case. It is a little tricky, like I mentioned, but I think I can do it for you all. I like you all so much. All right, one screw on, that's good. I'll just put the, the other screw on on the other side just to save a little time if I can grab the screw there we go um, but yeah this it, it looks really good I'm really happy with how this is looking unfortunately I actually think I'm gonna have to recast both halves of the crane case uh, these two parts here because some of these holes stripped unfortunately just because I don't think there was enough length on the or depth in the hole for the teeth to grab on properly but here we have uh, the closed case so it does spin freely the the split ring issue makes it a little bit hard to see the movement but as you can see i'm rotating the output shaft 
or actually that would be for the flywheel and the piston is reciprocating up and down so that's really great it fits the fit is nice and it doesn't have any issues with colliding parts or or fit issues in the grand scheme of things and i really just have to focus on those little details like the diameter of the shaft the diameter of the hole for the bearing journal bearing to fit into uh, but for now this is looking good i'm happy with it and i think it's some good progress it's essentially all of the parts of the engine have been cast in aluminum apart from the carburetor which is still uh, in its plastic form and i will eventually get to cast that uh, once i feel that everything else is looking good just because that's a little bit more of a complicated involved part on in it of itself uh, so i'm going to focus on that later uh, but i do have to recast most of the parts so that's going to be a fun time uh, but that's it for now so thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed i hope you found this interesting and i hope you have a great day goodbye